This week on the Lee Ferrero Project. Oh, hey, there's a moose. Look at that. Pretty cool. Some big animals. A mother moose and two babies. Two yearlings. Not afraid of me at all. <laughs> morning it is moving day today i figure out there is one battle that human beings will never say that conquer yeah and that's laundry what about a nudist colony no oh hey guys how's it going we're here uh not doing well we're all sick <laughs> yeah ouch oh man hi i'm alejandra and I'm Steven. We have two boys, Oliver and Tomas. Together, we are the Lee Ferrero Project. Hey guys, how's it going? We're here, uh, not doing well. We're all sick. Teresa left and uh, she made it back to New York. I miss her so much. Oh, I don't know how we're gonna do it without her. She was amazing. She she did everything. She cooked, she cleaned, she watched the babies. She played with Oliver all the time. Now we're, uh, we gotta do it on our own and I don't think that we can do it. <laughs> and now we're sick. Now we're sick. So like that makes it even worse. Hey buddy. And like I'm supposed to be having like all these meetings. I can't go like this so I don't know what's gonna happen. I only have like, we only have like three weeks left so. Mm -hmm. Hey buddy. Allie's been doing amazing, packing so much stuff. We got like piles of boxes to the roof basically. And I've been selling some stuff. I sold some furniture, but yeah, now it just like, this just throws wrench and everything. <laughs> Even baby Thomas is sick. Poor guy. He's a month and a half old. He shouldn't be sick. I guess we're not halfway packed <laughs> just yet. No. Of course, if Oliver like keeps being sick, we won't be able to take him to daycare. And see, yeah. this is getting sick with children. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say the oh. oh so yeah we're not doing good but we gotta somehow make it <laughs> we have we have flights to make and we have deadlines we gotta be out of this apartment <laughs> say a prayer for us we need it it's some help <laughs> yeah ouch <laughs> oh man Nice little scratch on my forehead from that car. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. Oliver, breakfast time, come have your egg. It's in our box filled apartment, so messy. <laughs> We're gonna be moving this Saturday. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through? Hey, how's it going? Good. What are you working on? Kitchen stuff and glass cutting board, I guess. How many boxes have you packed today? Today? Oh, I don't know. What's happening there? <sighs> oh, you know, just a teepee party. <sighs> How much longer do you think this is gonna take? The whole thing? Yeah. For the kitchen. Oh, for the kitchen. The thing is that this is the last thing. We still need to eat. Exactly, and still need to cook. Well, you're doing a great job. <laughs> you. And you're looking good while doing it. <laughs> yes, all sick. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you... So, this is the clothes that I'm trying to fit into 
one small bag to take with me on the airplane. I have to save a lot of space for the children and the wife for, for their stuff. So I'll try to fit that in that bag. We'll see how that goes. Son, we're packing everything. We got to put this in this box. Why, why are you taking this out, my son? Son, I know this is for your stroller, but why are you taking it out? We're packing it. No. You don't want to pack it? This is a banana. Hey, my love. Well, How's it going? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. What are you working on? I'm packing the bags for the boys. Looks full. <laughs> This is Tomas' side, this is Oliver's side, and over there we'll have all the equipment. Okay, good work. Thank you. So today was, yeah, the bathroom stuff, so I went through all of my lotions and stuff. So your mom helped me to put them in boxes, uh, the bathroom things. Also she was helping me to put my clothes away. That's not done yet. <laughs> not that I have too many clothes, that will never happen. Are we getting close? Yes, we are. I think we're gonna make it. I'm so, so tired right now. I, I am having a hard time keeping my eyes open. It is moving day today. I look beautiful. You do look beautiful. You always look beautiful. Okay. <laughs> You're <welcome. laughs> I was up at six this morning, went and picked up the U-Haul. Yeah, everyone's on their way here. Uh, people should be arriving here around nine or so. That is in like 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. we're just doing some final preparations. Ali's having some breakfast. I already ate mine. I figure out there is one battle that human beings will never, how do we say that, conquer? Yeah. And that's laundry. Never, ever. What about a new discovery? Never. Oh, there you go. Or that show, Naked and Afraid? No. no. <laughs> that's just silly. Well, it's going to be a long, difficult day, and it's going to be raining hard oh, all yeah, day, beautiful. which really sucks. Because we like to move in or out well. You know, like blizzards, snowfalls, yeah. that was last and time. raining. It's our, it's our yam. Yeah. Or jam. Or jam. Oh my god. <laughs> or jam. It's the way we do things. We don't like it the easy way. No, no, no. Someone, not naming any names, forgot to press play on the camera and missed most of the packing. Steven. Streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. Getting stronger step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. We will fly above the sky. So we did it. We moved everything out. And honestly, it didn't take that long. I think three hours, maybe three and a half hours, taking everything out of this apartment, all the stuff. We loaded up a U-Haul, we loaded up my dad's van and trailer, took it to the storage place, filled up the storage, and we were done in yeah, under three and a half hours. So it's amazing. So big thanks to Alejandra who actually 
packed so many boxes. You did amazing. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, no, I just, I am so grateful with, um, with your dad, with me, with Aaron, with Daniel, with Katarina. Uh, with Bob, with Pastor Debbie, with Jared, with Jesse, with Sean. With Sean and Courtney did so much. Oh my goodness, so yeah. much. They were here first thing in the morning and we just flew out with so many boxes so mm -hmm. fast. It was great. This leading up, like a week or two before, I was just so worried that I wasn't going to have a big enough storage. Like we were going to move everything to the storage and it wasn't going to fit for the U-Haul. Yes. Like I, I ordered a 26 footer. Then they called me and they're like, oh no, we can only give you a 15 footer. So I, you know, I had my dad bring his trailer and between the two, I was still worried. I thought we were going to have to do multiple trips and, and the storage is like a 40 or 30 minute drive from here. So I didn't want to have to be doing that. And then you get charged extra for kilometers, and, but no, we fit it all in one load and it worked out great. Thank God. <laughs> one load in two plate in two. Yeah, <laughs> we went out. Out the patio door and out the front door, and yeah, no, thank God it worked out great. I didn't think it was going to go as well. I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah, <laughs> and happy and relieved. Yes. Uh, now we have to clean this place. It's a mess. Yeah. But it's it's good. It's good things are gone. Uh, the things that we sold too. Yeah, we got the couch sold. We just have like a couple things that still need to go, but uh, shouldn't be a problem. So. Yeah. No, this is good. Good job. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> yeah. I went to sleep last night at one in the morning. Tomas woke up at three. Then he woke up at five. And then he woke up at seven. Oh no, you woke me up at six thirty. Yes, to go pick up the U-Haul. Yeah. I just took a. But then he Uber. took an Uber. <laughs> and then Tomas woke me up. Seven again. I'm pretty tired, but it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my night wasn't quite as bad because I wasn't sleeping in the room with the baby. I uh, think I went to bed around like 12 30 and was up at 6. Super mom. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. <laughs> oh. oh, and I just wanted to mention. Uh, we are now using our best furniture, which are just some buckets. Yes. Very comfortable, work great. <laughs> they just forgot to know them, so <laughs> that's why we're using Well, we need something to sit on, so. That's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> So, winter has come, just in time for our moving day. Now we're driving to Motorhead, we were in a blizzard. And people forget how to drive, and winter starts coming in. Oh, yeah. Always with the first snow, there's so many accidents the first day. I remember even just like when I was a teenager, my dad would always uh, just tell me like when it first snow, he'd be like, remember, it's snow now, it's winter driving. To like slow down a little bit, break early. Yeah, I'm a little concerned right now. If I turn on my high beams, it's just like a whiteout. You can't see anything. So. <laughs> I'll sleep anyway. I got it. Even if winter does come and snow and snow, we we'll only have a maximum of three weeks. <laughs> then we'll be done. And then we'll be in Colombia. No snow. No. <laughs>